So for day two, I've actually picked the HMCS Mermaid. Mermaids often overlooked in the history of the Queensland coastline. It did wreck on Flora Reef in 1829, and I'll get to that story in a little bit. But it has a significance in a previous life. It was actually built in India and bought by the British Navy and operated along the coast under the command of Philip Parker King, who mapped the inner channel of the Great Barrier Reef. So a safe passage for ships that didn't have to go in the outer passage, which is a lot more dangerous. Um, unfortunately, it did run aground and was repaired and actually had some issues with a combination of iron and copper fastenings used in the hull, which react with each other. So the Navy actually sold it to the New South Wales government at the time, who then used it to, I guess, ferry provisions and government um, documents up along the coastline and down. Now, the really interesting bit about the wrecking of the mermaid is that it was under the command of quite a young captain at the time who knew very well that the inner passage was a lot safer, but generally took a lot longer. He actually decided to opt to cut across the reef and take the outer passage, which was quicker, and unfortunately hit some uncharted reef in that area. So not the smartest move and a bit ironic given that mermaid was the ship that helped us navigate the inner passage to start with. So Mermaid is a really typical shipwreck of the Great Barrier Reef. A lot of the objects are in shallow water in a dynamic environment. So we actually find we don't have a lot of material from the ship itself. What we do have are a combination of uh, fastenings and heavy objects that remain. And as you can see, are quite corroded. So they've been in a really rough sort of um, swell dynamic environment. This is a copper alloy bolt or a spike as you can see and would have been part of the construction of the hull of Mermaid. 